And then question 2.2 says to us that the sanitation tariffs for Johannesburg and Cape Town are presented in table 3. Johannesburg uses the area of a property to determine um, the bill. Know what tariff means. Know what tariff stands for. Know what tariff means and know what tariff stands for. Basically, a tariff is whatever amount that you are paying to the municipality for their services. That's what a tariff is. If you don't know these things, you won't be able to calculate them. So let's see. It says here, Cape Town uses a percentage of the total water usage to determine the sanitation bill. So there's two different ways um, that these two things are determined in terms of how they are calculated. Table 3 shows the tariffs of Johannesburg excluding VAT. Important. And Cape Town including VAT. Remember, VAT is 15%. Sanitation tariffs are down here. This is Johannesburg. This is Cape Town. We can see here it's how big the house is. And here it's just a matter of how many kiloliters of water were used. Be careful. Kiloliters is a thousand liters. Okay. Side note, sanitation re refers to waste water that is drained from the household. Write down to the nearest 10 cents and excluding VAT. So we want to exclude VAT. The cost for sanitation in Johannesburg for a property, um, if the property is 175 meters square. So let's look at what that means for us. It means that we are um, sitting here because it wants Johannesburg and it says up to, meaning it's going to be in that first tax bracket. So then we know that excluding that, which is already given us, to us over there, um, we are then going to write that particular amount, which is 228,006. 228,06. Okay. Excluding that, Johannesburg. But now remember it says to the nearest 10 cents. If something is to the nearest 10 cents, um, it means we are counting in tens. Remember, ne? we are counting in tens, which is zero, 10, and so forth. So six is actually closer to um, 10 than it is to zero. You remember when we're talking about rounding off. So it's going to be 228,10 um, cents. So let's look at question 2.2.2. Okay, 2.2.2 has four marks, meaning you need to do a little bit more work. It says to us, calculate the cost for 4,1 kiloliters of sanitation in Cape Town before the increase. So let's look at the table and what it says about the increases. So if we look at this table um, and what it says about the increases, it says there it's 16,03 per kiloliter. And then it says to us that there was a 0 0.66 increase, okay? So it means we first need to subtract these two values with each other, and it will tell us before the increase. So 16,03 minus the 0 0.66 increase. And that's going to tell us um, how much the increase was. So that is 16,03 minus 0, 0,66. So initially, before there was an increase, um, the, the water cost 15 rand, 37. So that is 15, 37, okay, per kiloliter. So now we want to know, therefore, 4,1 kiloliters times 15,37. That's before the increase. So that answer times 4,1, which is then 63,017. Okay, so money is 
um, rounded off to two decimal places unless stated otherwise. This number is higher than five, so it changes the one. Remember, you need to know how to round off. And that is going to be your answer. So let's look at 2.2.3. Mr. Jones lives in Johannesburg and Miss Brown lives in Cape Town. So they live in two different places. They both own a property with an area of 550 meters square. So both of them earn, I mean, both of them have the same property. Né? And each is built for 22 kiloliters for sanitation purposes. Immediately when you see something like this, you know you're going to be asked to compare something. Use the table above to determine the difference in the cost of sanitation. So you see, we are comparing the two for the two properties. So we know for Johannesburg... I'm just going to say Joburg. We know for a stand that's this big in Johannesburg, this is how much you are going to pay for 22 kiloliters of water. Um, 550. Remember, in Johannesburg, it doesn't matter how much you've used. As long as, you've, uh, as, long as your stand is that much, is that big, which is that, it's 443. That's going to be the amount. Doesn't matter um, how much water you used, as long as your stand is a certain um, size. 443,96. Okay, so that's Johannesburg. And then Cape Town. 22 kiloliters of water you need to be very careful um, when it comes to these tariffs and that's why it's eight ne? eight max so the first thing that you need to do when it comes to this tariff you need to remember that for the first 4,2 kiloliters of water that's how much you are going to pay per kiloliter you need to remember that and then for the next um, kiloliters, which is between 4,2 and 735. So what I like doing is that I like subtracting them first. So I need to subtract these two numbers to know exactly how much kiloliters are um, in that particular bracket. Each bracket holds a different amount of kiloliters. So you don't say just because it says that person used 22 kiloliters of water. You don't just say, oh, no, that's going to be in this bracket, so I'm just going to multiply it by that. No, that's not how you do it. You need to know this is like a step function, okay? So the person is going to pay a different amount for each different interval. So what I'm going to do in this question, um, because I want to see how many kiloliters of water are in each interval, I'm going to subtract using my calculator. So... If I subtract, it's going to be for the second step, 7, 35 minus 4,2. Okay? So in that bracket, I've got 3,15 kiloliters of water. So here, I've got 3,15 kiloliters of water. Just not sure if that is visible. Um... And then, maybe I should write it on top of the toilet so that we can all see it. So that's going to be 3,15 kiloliters of water. Just, yeah, it's visible. And then I go to the next bracket. And, and the next bracket, which is this bracket, I want to see how much um, is accommodated there. Let's use my calculator as well. So in this particular bracket, we have... 24,5 minus 7,35. So 17 kiloliters of water are accommodated there, 17,15. So maybe I should use a different color. So that's 3,15 kiloliters of water. Doesn't look really good. 3,15 kiloliters of water. In that bracket, in the following bracket, 17,15 kiloliters of water. Okay, so I've subtracted everything that I needed to subtract. 
let's go and see how I am going to use um, what I have been given here. So I'm, I think it's a good idea um, for me to probably, let's go see. So it's going to be the first 4,2 kiloliters are going to cost me 16 rand um, and 3 cents. So that means the first are going to be 16 rand and 3 cents, which is the first 4,2 two kiloliters of water okay now I've got those plus remember I'm using 22 kiloliters of water this is me okay when I add up all my kiloliters they need to give me that particular amount so I know that the next set um, in terms of kiloliters of water is going to be 3,15. So that's 3,15 kiloliters of water. Three comma fifteen kiloliters of water is going to cost me um, twenty two rand and two cents according to the table. Okay. Plus this next step is a bit tricky and the reason why I say it's a bit tricky is because these kiloliters of water and these kiloliters of water and the following kiloliters of water need to give me 22 um, comma 1 okay I mean 22 sorry so side note let me write that as a side note tariffs are a very broad topic so 22 kiloliters of water minus 4,2 minus 3,15. I want to see how many kiloliters of water I have left. 22 kiloliters of water minus 4,2 kiloliters of water minus 3,15 kiloliters of water. So it means I have 14,65 kiloliters of water. Okay? So I need to go to step three and see how many kiloliters of water are accommodated in that last one. So the next step says that I can accommodate 17,15 kiloliters of water. And because I can accommodate 17,15 kiloliters of water, I need to use this remainder on my calculator exactly as it is. Because that is going to give me 22 kiloliters of water. So then I say 14,65 kiloliters of water multiplied by the amount of money that I am paying per kiloliter of water. Okay, so now 4,2 kiloliters of water plus 3,15 kiloliters of water plus 14,65 kiloliters of water need to give me 22 kiloliters of water. So when I'm subtracting, I need to be able to get zero at the end. But when I'm adding all of these, they should give me the total amount of water that I'm going to use. So important. You need to spend time on your tariffs. It's a lot of work. Okay, that's fine. Just going to remove this. So now I know that's how much that person is going to pay. Eight marks. That's exactly where the eight marks are coming from. Let us go put this um, in our calculator. So all of this combined, I'm going to put it as a bracket. Um, I said I'm going to say 4,2 times 16,03 plus, okay, plus 3,15 kiloliters of water. Don't give up when it comes to tariffs. Put in your best, okay? Because it's a lot of marks. Tariffs are a lot of marks. We said the remainder is 14,65, and then you have to multiply that with that 30,92. I hope this makes sense to you. And then our final answer will be 589,67 because it's two decimal places um, that we are working with there. So that's 
comma 67. Perfect. However, we have not fully answered our question because it says the difference. Whenever you are asked for the difference, it means you need to subtract your two answers. Therefore, if I'm going to go and subtract uh, my two answers, I am therefore going to use them as follows. I'm going to say to myself. Um, also, it's very important for us to know whether there's the vet is included or excluded and so on. So let's just go up and see first. The first one says VAT is already included. So I'm going to, no, VAT is excluded. So I need to calculate the VAT first because I can't compare two things. Um, like I can't compare VAT included and VAT excluded. You cannot compare. So you need to make sure that now you add the VAT here first and then you subtract them um, with each other. So if I'm adding VAT, if I'm adding VAT, um, so I said that excluded is for Johannesburg. So if I add that for Johannesburg, I'm just going to add that. So it's going to be 15% of 443, 96. I like putting it in one step so that you don't forget it. When you put it in one step, you will not have any issues um, with that. So let's go and put it into our calculators when we add our VAT. So if we're adding our VAT to that amount, it's going to be 443,96 plus, okay, 15%. I need to be adding VAT times 15% times 443 again, 96. So the amount with that included in it is 510,55. Okay. So then we can subtract the two amounts, which is going to be 589,67 minus 510,55. Nice. Um, 589, 67 minus 510,55. So the difference is going to be 79 rand and 12 cents, which really makes sense. You know, um, it needs to make sense. So you always make to, need to make sure that your questions make sense. Okay, let's look at this one. Explain how the tariff system used in Johannesburg. Um, one In Johannesburg, one's beneficial to homeowners in terms of water usage. Why is it beneficial? If I look at my Johannesburg tariff and how it's calculated, um, it's not dependent on how many kiloliters of water I used, but it's determined according to um, the property. So the bigger the property, the more you pay. The smaller the property, the less you pay. Two marks. That's all that it is. So um, the bigger the property, the more you pay. So that's why it's beneficial. And the smaller the property, the less you pay. So we would actually call it, um, we would call it direct proportion. So the bigger the property, the more you pay, the less the property, the less you pay. So you can just say direct proportion. So if you were to draw a graph, it would go up. Okay, that's exactly what the graph would um, look like if you were to go and to draw the graph. And this is exactly how you'd answer question 2.2.4. Please do not forget um, to know all your terms, like what VAT stands for, um, what an investment is, and so on and so forth, so you can get all your questions and all your marks. <laughs>